Hello fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of October 9th, 2016. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. Think back to what has been taking place over the course of the last two weeks or so. It really has been all about the sun. The sun has been doing all kinds of interesting things, meeting Jupiter in the sky, speaking with Mars, speaking with Saturn. Well, what's happening this week is it's all about Mercury. So Mercury is going to be retracing those steps or rather tracing the steps that the sun recently took by and especially by meeting Jupiter in the sky and before the week is out, we'll also speak with Mars and speak in a conversation of harmony and possibility with Saturn. So all this does suggest, because we've all been going through some lessons lately in at least one area of life, we're identifying where it is that we could be more ourselves, we could be more authentic, but also that we could realize what power we do have and use our free will to our advantage. That's part of the gift that the sun represents in the sky. When it's Mercury having these conversations, it becomes a lot more about mind, about conversations, about understanding things on a level of intellect in the hopes that that pathway will lead to the heart. So heart and mind tend to work very well together, which is why the sun and Mercury tend to hang out pretty close by each other. Um, and so with this particular sky, it is the mind catching up with the heart this particular week. So we do have Mercury meeting Jupiter at the top of the week, early in the week. Now, just like when the sun met Jupiter, it was like the luckiest day of the year. This is pretty lucky. This is a lucky day as well, but it's especially lucky where it comes to travel, where it comes to messages, uh, getting an answer, getting the documents, any kind of documents, signing things, all of that can go especially well now. It also tends to be a really good time for the media. So the media in some way, their work will be celebrated, their role will be celebrated as well. So we're having that take place at the top of the week. And then we're going to have Mercury speaking with Mars. Now this is a conversation of tension and this can be a little bit challenging. And so the ultimate uh, possibility here is to help us to align what it is that we know and we understand on a level of mind to help it to align with our sense of dedication and our sense of perseverance and our sense of action as well. Sometimes it's not enough to just believe something or think something or even to know something. How does that speak to, how does that change what you are actually doing? That is part of the gift here. That's part of the lesson here. And particularly because Mercury right now is moving through the sign of Libra. And Libra as an energy is all about balance. It's about peace. It's about finding a sense of equilibrium, finding a, med a middle ground. And when Mercury is speaking with Mars, that particular uh, part of it, right? That those particular ideals can be challenged. So it is, uh, it will be intriguing certainly, but it's also really important to consider where it is that balance works and where it is maybe that a little bit more assertiveness could go a long way, but also where it is that a little bit more assertiveness could actually get in the way of achieving the kind of harmony that we truly desire. Now collectively, again, Mercury speaks to the media, is symbolic of the media. And so this does speak to perhaps um, some investigative tactics uh, going in interesting directions, in investigative tactics being maybe a little bit aggressive, maybe that being pointed out, or like I think about, you know, aggressive journalism having a spotlight on it. But of course, Mercury is also going to speak to Saturn. Now, this is a conversation of harmony, which suggests to me that any kind of aggression that takes place, it isn't unethical, right? There isn't a sense of balance to it. Mercury is going to be speaking with Saturn and with this conversation comes that sense of maturity, comes healthy restraint and comes understanding what's best for the big picture. What is ethical? What is responsible? That understanding is very much in the forefront this week and it really is an understanding on a level of mind and this can really help calm what otherwise may be kind of irresponsible, right? Aggression without any direction, without any purpose. Uh, this instead will help balance that energy so that any kind of uh, messages that we're getting, we're able to see the wisdom, we're able to see the truth to the matter, we're able to ground that information and use it 
towards the big picture of our life. It isn't all about Mercury and actually these other conversations are also really important, really rare that are going to be taking place. Mars is going to be speaking with Neptune. Now this kind of conversation tends to happen like twice in one year and then not in the next is kind of how it works. So this is a conversation of harmony and this is an easy connection with our sense of motivation, our sense of determination, aligning with some higher ideal, uh, whether it is a spiritual ideal, whether it is an artistic ideal. So this can work really well wherever it is that you want to or you're desiring to enter the flow, right? I'm all about the flow and what the flow is ultimately, it is about aligning with an energy where what otherwise would be arduous work becomes a lot easier to do. There's a certain ease with which we're able to take action, a certain ease with which we're able to manifest the kind of things that we desire, uh, an ease with which we're able to bring forward our very best. That is part of how the flow is defined. A whole lot of people out there have written about this, like academically. Uh, so if that's something that interests you, you certainly can look into that. But when Mars and Neptune speak in this kind of, kind of conversation, it is an invitation into that sense of flow. So wherever it is that we need to align ourselves with an energy that's going to allow action to come about that much easier, to allow us to trust that we have whatever knowledge we need, whatever talent we need, and that if we allow something, sort of suggesting a subconscious, if you will, if we allow that to take over, it can lead us in positive directions. So that is part of the potential here. This also can be really good where it comes to us as a collective for really inspiring, beautiful sports and athletic moments. Uh, and this can also be really good if you're an artist or a musician to channel this energy in that direction. It's almost as if in the art of, or in the path of creation, in the process of creation, we come to tap into a deeper power. And that is a power that ultimately can benefit many different areas of life. Now, finally, I kind of saved the biggest for last, okay? And it is the sun speaking with Uranus. So yeah, a lot of really nice things are happening throughout this week. But I do think that there's going to be a certain percentage of us out there, particularly if you were born right around the 15th, you know, give or take five days on either side. But if you were born right around the 15th of the month, you're going to feel this energy more than most, but everybody out there is going to be feeling this. And this is sort of a very slow walk towards an exact conversation of the sun and Uranus. In fact, the sun is going to stand across the sky from Uranus at the end of the week or late in the week. And this is a conversation that happens once a year. It does represent kind of surprise moments, breakthrough moments, breakout moments. It can either be absolute brilliance that helps you to transcend limitations of the past, or it can be surprises that take you aback. But regardless, this does tend to present with us uh, some surprising factors that help us to reconsider who we are and what action is best to take. Now, because of this type of conversation, it can play itself out in one-on-one -on -one interactions and one-on-one -on -one relationships. As I look at this, I think there's gonna be a lot of people out there who just feel ready for a change and it's been building for a while and likely been building since at least last week. So last week we had the sun speaking with Pluto. Now we are going to have the sun standing across from Uranus. Both of these planets have to do with truth and having to accept the truth, but Uranus does it in a way that can be downright shocking, downright surprising. So be prepared for that. Collectively, I think some very surprising things have come to light. Uh, and in our own personal lives as well, we get a chance to see ourselves differently. And if you're using this energy to your advantage, you're seeing yourself much more positively. You're able to break past what otherwise was a limitation to see the best of you that much easier. Uranus represents moving towards a real sense of authenticity. And what that is, is being ourselves, not who it is that we were told to be, not who it is that we were trained to be, conditioned to be, but truly ourselves, honoring some higher creative, higher wisdom that is within us. Well, this particular conversation does promise that we're gonna take leaps in that direction 
For some of us, the process might be a little bit uncomfortable. For others, it might be just delightful. But, you know, as I always think, there are not enough surprises in life. There are not enough surprises in life. I do believe that. And so surprises, really, well, however they appear on the surface, there's something about them that does keep life interesting. And there's something about us that, something about it that shows us what it is that we're really made of. And given this particular conversation, I think a lot of people out there are going to find that we are made of absolute brilliance. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm truly so grateful for it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It does mean so much. Thank you for your enthusiasm and for your patience as well. I know that I normally like to publish this weekly horoscope at some point Saturday night or Sunday morning. This particular video scope is going to be published late Sunday night by the time you receive it. And you have my apologies for the delay. Again, thank you so much for your enthusiasm uh, and for really trusting my interpretation of the sky. It means so much to me, so thank you for that. I do have a live event coming up and I'm super, super excited about that. And it is happening this coming weekend. So my actual talk is going to take place on Sunday, October 16 at 1.15 p.m. And it is taking place as part of the ESAR conference in Costa Mesa, California, that's Southern California, just outside Los Angeles. Some people say it's like Anaheim, uh, California as well. So if you are in the area, I would absolutely love to see you there. I would love to meet you. Now you do have to buy a day pass. It isn't just a single talk uh, class pass, if you will. You actually have to buy the whole day pass, but there are like some of the most brilliant astrologers alive today are actually going to be uh, speaking that day at different, uh, there are like a bunch of simultaneous talks taking place and it's a gathering and there's tons and tons of speakers and talks and things like that. I'm really honored to be in their company, to be part of their company. And I'm really honored to be a part of this amazing astrological event as well. Uh, so I hope that you will join me. I hope that you will come enjoy and, uh, and we'll get to meet. Also, I will have books on hand, a small number of books on hand. And so I will be selling uh, copies of my book. Of course, I'm very excited to sign my book for you as well. So I will be doing that immediately afterwards, just outside of the room where the talk occurs. And I think the talk occurs in the room called Balboa too. And you can find out a lot more about that at esarastrology.org. That's esarastrology.org. Now, additionally, I am available for a very limited number of consultations. So as of right now, I had three days of consultations with three each, uh, each day. Um, most of those spots are now gone. And so really right now, I think I have just uh, one left on Tuesday. Uh, this coming Tuesday, which is the 11th of October. And then I have two left on uh, the Monday. So the Monday, which is the 17th. If you would like a consultation, if you would like to meet and have me look at your sky, have me look at your chart, please do reach out on my website, nadiashaw.com. You can use the contact form on my website. Uh, you can also uh, email me at info at nadiashaw.com. And it is uh, through that, that you can learn more. And then if you want to do that, confirm a spot, we absolutely can do that as well. And thank you again. Thank you for your trust, uh, for your enthusiasm. I always, I've only been to California once before. It was like a year and a half ago and I just loved it so much. And there was a lot of love out there for me. And so I'm really excited to be back and especially now to be back and to celebrate astrology, to be there as part of a celebration of astrology. It really is very exciting for me, very meaningful for me. And so whatever friends and fans I can meet, that would be amazing as well, because sometimes I'm always like behind, behind my camera, behind my computer. Uh, and so when I do get those chances to actually meet uh, in person, face to face, it does mean so much to me. So thank you for that. And again, if you want a consultation, just reach out through my website, nadiashaw.com and use the contact form. And of course, if you want to attend my talk, I'm going to be speaking about uh, outer planet transits to the moon. And the talk is called When Your Feelings Change. And so it has to do with looking at times when what you felt before 
goes through some kind of transformation. And this speaks to your own sense of well-being, your own sense of inner peace and equilibrium. This speaks to your own sense of emotional fulfillment and what that's going to mean to you. And it also speaks to what you need in relationships. So I think it's a, it's a sensitive topic and it's a, a very powerful topic to speak about. And I'm really excited uh, to get to share that experience uh, with all of you out there. So again, isarastrology.org. I look forward to meeting you in California. A big thank you to those of you who have joined me as part of Synchronicity University in real time at synchronicityuniversity.com have joined me as part of the October 2016 series of live webinar classes. Thank you so much. It's been a great group. It's been great interacting with you guys. So we already had the first two lessons, the first two classes take place. Uh, the first was about when you find love. So it has to do with identifying things in a chart that indicate new love arriving. And then the one that we just had this weekend had to do with um, you in love. So understanding what you need in the context of love is part of what that talk was about. They kind of worked together. There was a little bit of, you know, indications of what's coming up. There was a little bit of indications of, I spoke about this last week. Um, and we used some celebrity examples. It was a lot of fun. So again, thank you to those of you who joined me. If you didn't have a chance to join me live, you can uh, go onto my website or go on to synchronicityuniversity.com and actually download uh, the class. So you can actually purchase the download. It's a full video download and there's also an audio only version so that you can continue to learn from that infinitely as long as you like. Now this coming Saturday, I am going to be at the conference, the ESAR conference, and I'm actually going to record the weekly horoscope from California. I don't know where yet. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be outside. I don't know if it'll just be in my hotel room. I don't know yet, but I am looking forward to having some of that California energy with me when I record next week's horoscope. So I won't be online to do class, but the following Saturday and the last Saturday of this month, I will be online doing classes. Next week is about solar return charts, which is like birthday to birthday chart. So it really is looking at some key things uh, to identify what key themes are going to come up for you at this particular year of your life. And also uh, to look at major days, how to time days in terms of the awareness, the trigger points, if you will. And then uh, the last class of this uh, month of October will take place the last Saturday and it is going to be about major life cycles. So it is, we're really going to go from the beginning, from birth, through a full life uh, context up to about 90 years old. We're going to go through that whole and look at some major things that happen right around the same age for everybody that speak to how it is that you change, how you evolve. And my hope is with that class, that you are able to see yourself differently, more clearly, you're able to see the people in your life differently. And the really great thing about that too, is that, you know, sometimes if I'm like out and I'm just talking to somebody and they start telling me something astrological, I'll ask them their age. And the, that reason, the reason I ask them their age is, um, you know, not because I just want to know if they look like their age, but it is so that I can start to consider what major life cycle they're coming off of or they're moving towards. So that is like, once you understand the major things that happen at these different ages, it becomes that much easier to understand other people as you interact with them. And so that is part of my intention, part of my hope with this class to understand yourself better and to understand others better as well as we, you know, walk through life and we go through certain core, what I call archetypal lessons at different phases, it helps us to connect with them that much more. So again, to register or to learn more or to download past classes. A lot of people have been enjoying the past classes that I did in August. You can do all that on my website, NadiaShaw.com or go to SynchronicityUniversity.com. I also want to give a shout out to my patrons on patreon.com. Uh, we've created this nice little community there. I've really been enjoying that. And I thank you so much for the support for my next book, The Universe is Wise and Loving. And really that is a project very close to my heart and your support means so much to me. Any amount is absolutely appreciated. There are different packages and different perks available depending on how much you decide uh, to be a patron for. Uh, so please do check that out. Uh, you can learn more about that at patreon.com slash 
Nadia Shaw. And again, that is in support of my book, my next book, which I'm really excited about, called The Universe is Wise and Loving. So again, that's patreon.com slash Nadia Shaw. Of course, I love our interactions, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, my website, NadiaShaw.com, and the YouTube comments as well. Please do keep them coming. Of course, sometimes I'm asked questions that are a little bit more personal that have to do with your unique situation. And if that's the case, please do consider a personalized horoscope where I can do just that. Look at your unique birth chart and answer your unique questions. You can learn more about that on my website, NadiaShaw.com, and it is always a privilege to have your trust and to look at your unique sky. But of course, you being here in this moment right now is everything. You being here allows me to live my mission, which I believe and I've come to understand more deeply as I walk this life. Uh, my mission in the world is to affirm that the universe is wise and loving. That's it. The universe is wise and loving. That's the intention behind everything I share. And my hope is that with this video right now, with this horoscope, it in some way reminds you of this truth, infuses your life with some hope, some inspiration, whatever it is you need to affirm this very sacred truth for you. That allows me to live my mission and it really, it means everything to me. The universe is wise and loving. Thank you so much again. Now how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you and your sign is coming up right now. Hello fabulous Aries. This week has a big emphasis on love love and partnerships of all kinds. Mercury meeting Jupiter in the sky could have you cementing some kind of power deal or have you meeting somebody that really makes a big difference in your life. So if there's any kind of meetings, anyone you want to align with for your joint prosperity, this would absolutely be the time to do it, especially early in the week, as early in the week as possible. And for those of you in an established bond, this particular sky, especially early in the week, can be really nice for receiving some really good news and bringing you two that much closer together. Now do keep in mind, pay attention to what happens early in the week, because that's when there's a lot of really nice warm energy where it comes to partnerships playing out. But it is towards the late part of the week that Uranus and the Sun start having their conversation and it could very well be that someone just surprises you. Now this might be a nice surprise, okay, could be. Uh, I think about how one of my uh, former professors once said to me that the longer he's married, the more his wife surprises him. I remember that him saying that it always stood out to me about how much love can be a mystery, how much partnership can be a mystery. So it might just be something like that, a surprise, it might be something a little bit more dramatic, but regardless, whatever it is, let it surprise you and let it be the truth. Let it be the truth ultimately that lends itself to a new understanding of what it is that you truly want from others, especially those that you align with, whether it's business or love. Hello fabulous Taurus, this week we've got this beautiful meeting of Mercury and Jupiter happening in your work space. So it's happening in the part of the sky for you that has to do with coworkers. It also has to do with like people you hire for services, maybe doctors, yes, doctors, uh, hairdressers, all of that. So this is a time when one of these kinds of people could really come through for you in a big way, bring lots of warmth, support, and maybe even practical opportunity as well, opportunity to grow and have even more work-related successes. This is also an area of the sky that has to do with your clients. And so where it comes to your clients, you can uh, expect an abundance or some really nice treatment to take place right about now. Where it comes to matters of love, Taurus, we have this beautiful conversation playing out between Mars and Neptune this week, both in very supportive positions for you. And this does suggest that friendships in particular could bring an element of romance, a level of fantasy, a level of uh, being swept off your feet into your life, whether it is through an introduction or with someone that you already know. And if you are in an established bond, this particular conversation is especially good for thinking very big picture. Where do you wanna to go together? What adventures do you wanna take on together? Dream it and you'll be able to move that much closer to living it. Hello fabulous Gemini, it is a beautiful week for you for a whole lot of reasons. So one is Mercury. Mercury is doing all kinds of things in the sky, your ruling planet, and especially meeting Jupiter in the sky. This is super lucky and fortunate all around. But this is also happening in fellow Earth sign Libra, which does mean there's an ease with which you're able to bring about those blessings. 
and it's happening in a part of the sky that has to do with romance, it has to do with dating, and it has to do with luck as well. And so early in the week, if there's anyone out there who should be going to buy a lottery ticket, it certainly should be you. Um, I would also say, you know, like I always say, don't break the bank over it, of course, just throw the dice, see what happens. And this is true in any area of life, wherever it is that you need to take a risk, where you need to take a chance, you've got lots of cosmic support for having a better than usual, better than average outcome. Now, where it comes to matters of love, this part of the sky as well has to do with flirting and dating. So this is the time if you see somebody and you want to have that conversation, go for it. Now, as we move later into the week, the energy does change up. So there might be some surprises that make you go, okay, that's who you are. Uh, that can play out with this energy, particularly with anyone new that you meet or anyone that you're just getting to know if you're in an established bond. This energy uh, can be one of fertility, okay? So I will say that if that's something you're trying to make happen. But this can also be energy that has to do with rekindling and awakening the heart. And that awareness, that sense of awakening can come about this week in some very surprising ways. Hello, fabulous Cancer. This week, we've got a lot of energy building where it comes to home and home base. Now, do keep in mind, as we get into next week, it's really gonna start to uh, take hold. Action is gonna start to take place where it comes to matters of your career. That's gonna start to propel in some very big ways and in some ways, very surprising ways as well. But this week is when you start to feel what's coming up ahead. Now, not so much early in the week, but particularly as we get towards the end of the week. Like what changes are being asked for? What breakthroughs are you ready to make? The rumblings of which will start to appear as we move further into the week. But early in the week, it's a lot about what's happening on home base. There's a lot of luck with you at home base as well. If you've got a home based business or you are in the business dealing with homes in any way, or it just has to do with creating a safe space, a more enjoyable space at home. This is where you'll have lots of cosmic support to make good things happen. If you are somebody in an established bond, there's going to be a strong desire right now to create a very safe space between the two of you, a beautiful space between the two of you. And if you are open to meeting someone new, this particular energy does suggest that you might want to get a family member to set you up with somebody. This time they might actually have some really good choices for you. Hello, fabulous Leo. This week we've got lots of positive energy taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, neighbors. If there's anyone you should be trusting, particularly early in the week, these are the people that you wanna to go to, whether it's for advice, whether it's for opportunity, whether it's for ideas. Conversations now are key, and particularly with these uh, types of people, siblings, cousins, neighbors, they can really come through for you in very big ways now. Additionally, with this energy, it tends to be good for just talking things out, negotiating, even coming to an agreement with somebody. So wherever it is that you may need a little luck to make that happen, this is that cosmic support to make something really great happen for you. If you are somebody in an established bond where it comes to matters of heart, this can be an element of finally sharing, finally talking, or carving out that time to have those conversations that go from mind and communication right to the heart of you. Now, I do want you to be a little bit mindful when we get to the later part of the week, because that is when there's just a lot of propensity there to say the wrong thing at the wrong time. And so it is important for you to be very delicate and that it becomes especially true with new people and if you're open to meeting someone new. And especially true if you're meeting anybody online. Whereas early in the week, yes, there is some luck to make an online connection uh, materialize into something very nice. At the same time, as we get to the end of the week, the later part of the week, it's just a lot of very shocking energy in that regard. Um, that is something, you know, really, it just looks like it can go either way. So if you are connecting with someone early in the week, try and meet them as early in the week as possible. 
Hello, fabulous Virgo. This week, there's lots of financial luck, lots of financial abundance, particularly early in the week. If there's any kind of effort you need to make, any kind of show you need to demonstrate, um, any kind of request you need to make where it comes to money and especially money coming in and where it comes to your overall prosperity, this would be a really good time to do it, to take that action in support of a raise or putting in more hours or whatever it is that you need to see a bigger paycheck. Lots of support, lots of luck with that. Money luck in the early part of the week. As we move into the later part of the week, that's when the energy really can go either way. And this is possible, a small percentage of you out there might have a bill that comes up that surprises you. Um, it could also be that uh, some, whether it's an opportunity that really seems out there, or some really surprising opportunity to have to work more, have to work longer in some way may show up. Now, ultimately, this is all part of you understanding your relationship to money, having a healthy relationship to money, and it's all part of you moving towards greater prosperity. So you can cherish that, right? You can hold on to that. You can be grateful for that, knowing that ultimately you are moving. And especially now, and especially over the course of the coming year, you are moving absolutely towards greater abundance. Now, where it comes to matters of heart, matters of love, we do have Mars right now moving through part of the sky for you that is super romantic, and it's really good for flirting, it's really good for connecting with new people, or if you're just starting to date somebody. Now, this particular placement is speaking in harmony with Neptune in your opposite sign. As I look at this, I have a feeling that you could meet somebody and think you have met the love of your life, like in five minutes. Now, whether or not that's the case, you'll have to wait a little bit to see because there's not a lot of energy here that says stability in perception, but there is a lot of energy here that says feeling very swept off your feet. So you might as well enjoy it. It's very possible that you meet somebody, you flirt with somebody, and it gets your imagination going. If you're in an established bond, this very well could be a time when your partner does something super sweet, super romantic that just lights you up. Hello, fabulous Libra. Well, the party keeps going in your sign, right? It really is all about you these days. You've got this wonderful energy, especially in the early part of the week with Mercury meeting Jupiter in your sign. This is clarity into who you are, like your identity and what it is that you truly want, what matters to you most and what matters to you first. So there should be that burst of insight, burst of clarity that comes and possibly also practical opportunity as well, or at least some move that moves you further towards what it is that you truly desire. So this is some very powerful energy playing out and it does suggest you having an understanding, possibly surprisingly, but having an understanding into what it is that your next move is going to be, what it is that your next action is going to be that's gonna move you in a positive direction as determined by you. Now, where it comes to matters of heart, we are having towards the later part of the week, this conversation taking place with the sun in your sign and Uranus in your opposite sign. If anyone could get surprises in love, it certainly would be you. So this can really go either way. There's sort of a very surprising factor to this. Uh, this could be a romantic declaration that you really did not see coming. This could also be a, a certain uh, person expressing interest that surprises you. Uh, this could also be, I gotta say, if you are in an established bond, your partner surprising you in interesting ways as well. Really, again, you know, it really could go either way. It could be supremely positive. It could be maybe not as positive. And so it is important to consider if you are the one planning the romantic surprise, where it is that you can, as I like to say, bring a little Saturn in there, right? Bring a little stability in there. Bring a little sense of uh, groundedness into whatever it is that you are planning. Because the more out there you go, the more likely it becomes not to be as winning a bet as you may hope. But for all that, you know, a lot of times surprises can be really fun and that just might be the case now. Hello, fabulous Scorpio. Lots of energy building in the part of the sky just before yours, the most secretive part of the sky, if you will. So this is super down low, super low key energy. And so a lot of the best things that are gonna happen now are going to happen very behind the scenes. They're gonna happen based on what you've already done. So this is a really great time to do your planning, to put things into place, 
to consider what it is that you need to do today that is going to help you to fully manifest even more wonderful things further down the road and further down the road not that far away at all especially when we consider the month of november really big month uh, for you all around and this is energy you'll be feeling before the month is even out so it does look like a time when there are going to be lots of surprises lots of changes uh, and really what is ultimately going to surprise you now has to do with the realization of what maybe has not been working is not working is not meant to work and that will help you clear the way for something new and even better to enter the picture and it absolutely is even better now as we move you towards the later part of the week uh, you can expect some workplace related surprises that maybe take you a little bit off guard maybe surprise you a little bit uh, there could be some very dramatic changes that take place as well. You might walk in and all the furniture is different. Like that's the kind of energy we have playing out here. Now, where it comes to matters of heart and matters of love, I do think that um, with this energy, really what is sort of under the surface is going to be particularly intriguing to you. And also, you know, there's this part of you, part of Scorpios out there that love a mystery. And this week does promise some kind of mystery coming forward. Now, at some point, you're going to have to prioritize and decide, does this matter? Does it not? Where am I going to put my energy? Where am I not? You do have to make some kind of decision, very likely facilitated by an unexpected occurrence, particularly with someone that you may be interested in. For those of you in an established bond, as I look at the sky, it does suggest wanting to just keep things between the two of you. That's exactly where it is that you are going to like it. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. What a big week it is really for all of us. And for you in particular, where it comes to your friendships, that's where a lot of the activity is going to be this week. Now, early in the week, a friend may surprise you, may delight you, may bring practical opportunity into your life, or just offer an amazing amount of support that brings a lot of wisdom into your life as well. So any kind of social invitations early in the week, absolutely you are going to want to accept, or maybe it's you that actually wants to reach out to other people. You will feel very understood. You will feel very supported. So that's taking place in the early part of the week. Now, as we move a little bit further into the week, that's when the energy gets interesting towards the later part of the week. And this is where a friend could surprise you in ways that really take you off guard. And so this could be, for those of you interested, open to meeting someone new, this could be a romantic declaration that really does take you off guard. Uh, it might not be appropriate in all honesty. Uh, and if you are in an established bond, there may be a desire now to actually have some type of a friendship connection with this person that you love, a desire for some companionship, a desire for some downtime. And this week is going to give you some insights. It's going to show you a little bit about how much it is that this person is, you know, how much of it is love, how much of it is lust, how much of it is mind. A lot of that is going to become very clear this week in some moments of really surprise and personal epiphany. Hello, fabulous Capricorn. What an exciting week it is all around. And this week in particular, especially in the early part of the week, your career, your work is so lit up. It is super positive energy here. And so this is saying accolades. This is saying possibly rewards. Uh, this is also saying the real possibility for promotion, for moving yourself up in some way, climbing the ladder, whatever your proverbial ladder is. This can also be really good where it comes to the achievement, the manifestation, the understanding of the goals that are worth achieving and worth moving towards. Bosses as well, especially early in the week, will be very much on your side. But the energy does change the later in the week we get, particularly as we get towards the late part of the week. This is where bosses really could surprise you in ways that can go either way. It might be good, maybe not so good. Their reactions may be out of the norm as well. So this is where you're going to want to be a little bit mindful with your connections with them. It could also be, as I look at this, that there's some change or some move that you may be trying to make, that you're trying to make happen based on the connections you've already made, based on the people you already know. So you're going to have to be a little graceful with this and figure out the right way to approach it. There seems to be a real desire as we move towards the end of the week to make some big 
change, but it is going to take a little bit of finesse. It's going to take a little bit of grace to make it happen. But if anybody can, absolutely, it is you. Now, where it comes to matters of heart, a lot of the energy right now is very big picture. So this can be a very surprise flirtation uh, from someone who is either a supervisor or a boss or someone who's achieved something that you admire. Also, it could go in a little bit of a different direction as well. Uh, a flirtation with somebody that really shows you something about where you're going and where they are not. Uh, if you are in an established bond, a lot of this energy is very big picture. Where are we going together? Let's make big things happen. And if anyone can make big things happen, it is you. Hello, fabulous Aquarius. What a big week it is. This week, we've got a party going on in a part of the sky for you that has to do with long distance travel, legal matters, higher education. All of this can go supremely well for you. And especially where it comes to filling out applications, submitting documents, do all that as early in the week as possible. As we get towards the end of the week, the energy gets a little bit more surprising. It gets a little bit more erratic. And that's what it is that you want to calm. <laughs> and so you do that by accessing the more positive vibes, particularly early in the week. That energy later in the week can play out in a few different ways. Uh, I want you to keep in mind, again, I said this last week, be mindful of your social media posts. Uh, the energy right now is really heightened, I know, but if you are somebody who's not really caring about that anyways and you're going to do what you're going to do, that's awesome. But this is a time when things can be, I don't want to say misinterpreted, but they can provoke some very powerful reactions and maybe with people that you actually care about, that you actually love, that you want to have a sense of harmony with. So it's up to you to decide how you want to do things. But just be mindful of that. This energy can also play out where it comes to uh, conversations that you may have with others uh, and what it is that you are sharing. And it could be at this time that someone shares something that really takes you aback. You know, they're not realizing what they're saying and you're like, do I point it out? What did this person just say? Is that right? That's not right. That could be one reaction that does uh, play out. But this for a small percentage of you out there. Um, where it comes to matters of love, a lot of this energy does have to do with a sense of shared values and shared direction. So if you are with someone now, uh, this could be a time when you are considering what it is that you believe, how much this person aligns with that and how much difference is okay. I mean, I think that might actually surprise you uh, to sort of have that exploration. If you are in an established bond, this could be a time when your partner reveals something about their worldview that does surprise you a little bit, that you didn't expect coming, that you didn't see coming. Now this is their perspective and what it's gonna to mean to the bond ultimately is up to you. Hello fabulous Pisces, it is such a beautiful week, especially early in the week. That's where a lot of the really good energy is happening. And for you in particular, there's super positive things happening. So on the one hand, right, if we just look at it a little bit like on the surface, if you will, uh, there's lots of financial luck with you early in the week. Now this has to do with grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns, uh, benefits you may qualify for. So that kind of large chunks of money, that is what is especially lucky early in the week. And it is early in the week that you want to put in any kind of financial applications or documents. As we get later into the week, things could really go in very unexpected directions. Uh, you could realize this is possible. I have to be honest as I look at this. Um, maybe there's not as much credit available as you thought. Maybe the loan isn't as much as you thought you needed or you wanted. These are the types of discrepancies that can take place that do surprise you. Now, this is going to be an area that is something that ultimately is going to have lots of blessings for a long time to come. So don't let the little surprises take you too uh, aback because ultimately there's so much good energy that will continue propelling you forward towards greater prosperity. But what I'm really excited about for you is this conversation between Mars and Neptune in your sign. It's super romantic all around. It'll have you feeling in your element. It'll have you feeling very alive. Um, and this is a super nice dreamy energy that can be very nice for making a heart connection, particularly if you're making that connection with a friend or through a friend. It's your friends actually right now that could really awaken your imagination. Now this is 
in practical ways in terms of what you could do and what you want to do but this is also in romantic ways as well if you're in an established bond this really is a time of feeling a very strong sense of companionship with this person that you love it is very likely this week that you will only see the very best in this person that you already have established trust with well thank you so much to all signs out there it'll be a great week enjoy